Hello. Okay, I would like to talk today about about dreadlocks. So for 10 years I had dreadlocks and I, so I, I've had them actually three or four different times. I forget. I started my son at birth with dreadlocks. I put dreadlocks on my um, my ex and so I've just uh, and I just I just know a lot about dreadlocks. The thing is about dreadlocks, if you just go nat dreadlocks in theory or is, or is what man and woman looks like in our natural state. You know, if you don't comb your hair, you wash it, but you comb your hair, you don't comb your hair, you'll get dreadlocks. It's just what happens when your hair mats together. You know, like how when you don't comb your hair and your hair is like stuck together, it's instead of it's instead of fixing that, it's to keep going with it. But the problem is is that if you just go natural like that, You'll have some thick ones, some thin ones. They'll be all be different sizes than that, and that looks very radical. And so, like you'll, it'll be harder to get jobs. You'll, you'll get a different kind of attention. My first set were those natural kind, and it, it was a lot harder. I learned that what you do is you braid your hair, and then as the braid grows, the the part that leaves your scalp is a dreadlock. And when when that's about that long, like what is that? When it's about two and a half inches long, three inches, like that, then you unravel the, the dreadlock. I mean, you unravel the, the, the braided part and you leave the part on the base that's, that's a dreadlock start. And then you soak it, you know, for half a day in, in, the, in beeswax for dreadlocks. And then that, that makes it like stick together, you know. And so then, then you backcomb it. And then it'll look pretty radical for a while, but eventually... It'll it'll um it'll knot up and it'll turn into dreadlocks. That way you can you can manipulate it so they're all in neat rows and all the same size and everything, and then you you'll have an easier time. They'll look they'll look more they'll make more sense to the eye, and uh, people will, it'll make more sense to people. Not that it matters what people think, but another thing is is that if you uh, listen to my uh, the Dragonfly Sutra the audio book. A teaching I put in there is like in my brand in my style of Rasta is that you know if you have a mohawk it's about the same thing you know like I, I really I don't just admire Bob Marley but I really look at Joe Strummer a lot Joe Strummer was influenced in, and even John Joseph uh, you know if you look at them they were very the early Rastas were very I mean the early punk rockers were very influenced by the Rastas that's why punk rock kind of sounds like reggae and ska because it comes from that you know and how the lyrics are have more meaning in in punk rock it's because they're trying you know they they're they admire that about the rastas that they talk about real things and the lyrics you know instead of just always sex and the devil and things like that you know they talk about positive things and and things that actually matter you know so like the mohawk, they started They started having mohawks, you know, kind of like how Rosses have dreadlocks. And it really is the same thing. Because, like, uh, same with LSD. Like we, like, we know that LSD can just break, shatter your world apart. Then you can learn from putting it back together again. Well, really, dreadlocks and a mohawk can do the same thing. You walk into a room, you have a mohawk, your world will be shattered. Because people, some people will like you without even knowing you just because you have a mohawk. Some people will hate you just because you have a mohawk. Some people will like you just because you have dreadlocks. Some people will hate you just because you have dreadlocks. And to experience things like that really exposes humanity. It teaches you a lot about yourself and about humanity and about these things. You realize that everything's really just a fraud. It's all just a bunch of bullshit. It's just, it's just weak-minded people just doing kind of like cloners you know just doing whatever they're taught you know like what you know they can't think outside of the box type thing so a uh, yan sway um would would have you know you can decide you know at one point in your life you, you would want to just like how jesus initiated with cannabis you would you'd want to be a stoner for like three months six months a year two years three years five years the rest of your life I don't really know. You would have to decide. But you don't need to smoke cannabis every day the rest of your life, you know, or anything like that. Just, like, get the get the message from it. Because that, too, you, you did. And even LSD and psychedelics and, and that ayahuasca and peyote. I went to a 
couple peyote ceremonies and stuff. It's all really just like they all kind of have in common that they break the world apart. And then you have to piece it back together again, you know. So, so like right now, obviously, I don't have dreadlocks. It's because I felt like I absorbed the message. I don't smoke cannabis either. Well, I absorbed the message, you know, like, like I get it. After a while, you get the, you're like all stoned every day, and you're like, oh, why am I even doing this? I'm not learning anything anymore, you know. And so uh, I'm, I might, I'm, I mean, I will smoke herb again, you know, from time to time. But it probably won't be as big a part of my life as it has been. I might even start dreadlocks again in the future. I don't know. I'm not really sure, you know. Who we are is in the now. You know, life is a spiral. You know, you're, who you are is not who you were in the past. That's a different person. And you're not who you're going to be in the future. That's a different person. The eternal part of you is who you are right now. You know, and who I am right now is uh, doing just fine. You know, I've already got those messages and I, I, I still, they still matter to me. When I go out in the world, you know, and the, the ha, 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 she's transgender, you know, it's like, oh, look at you. Why should I care what you think, you know? Like it's all been a part of it. It's all been a growing learning process for me, you know? And so I'm still learning. You always learn. Learning, you know, like, wow, I hope I'm always learning. Learning's a good thing.